Good evening. Hundreds of workers were forced to evacuate AFL House at Docklands after staff received a bomb threat. Police are investigating whether a disgruntled fan made the call, angry about the league's stance on same-sex marriage. Neary Tai reports. A bomb threat sparks the evacuation of AFL House. Basically the siren went off and we just followed procedure which was to evacuate the building. Hundreds of workers forced out of the Docklands building after a phone call was received around 11.30am. It was done very cool, calm, collectedly. The AFL were terrific in getting their message out. It comes a day after another message was unveiled with League headquarters changing its sign to yes in support of same-sex marriage. Do you think this bomb threat uh, was due to the sign being changed? I've got no idea. But by this morning, it was taken down. And why has the sign changed back to AFL today? It was always planned. That was going to be in the statement. Um, it was just for today to make a one position and we move on. But it didn't stop a wave of backlash today. Sources have told Nine News the AFL was inundated with hundreds of calls from angry fans, one of which told the call taker there would be a big explosion within the hour. Police swiftly moved in. The AFL's decision to publicly back marriage equality has garnered support. I sent Gil McLaughlin a text message last night and I said, well done, well done, because that's what leadership's all about, standing up for what's right. I don't buy into the conversation around uh, just because it is the AFL, they're not allowed to have a, an opinion on the issue. But it's also divided the footy world and sparked controversy. As a sports organisation, they should concentrate more on sport than this sort of issue. Two hours after the threat was made, the area was deemed safe by police and staff were allowed back inside. A short time later, a young man emerged and took down one of the rainbow flags, replacing it with an indigenous flag. I just do what I'm told. Leaving the other ones flying. Miri Tai, Nine News. Good evening. Security threats have forced the evacuation of AFL headquarters a day after the league revealed its support for same-sex marriage. It denies it's now backing away from the very public stance, despite a controversial yes sign being removed from the front of AFL House. A threatening phone call forced the evacuation of hundreds of employees from AFL headquarters. Police shut down the entire Dockland Street and conducted safety checks while the CEO addressed staff. The security scare came just a day after high-profile players posed for photos with Gil McLaughlin in front of a yes sign which replaced the AFL logo. I sent Gil McLaughlin a text message last night and I said, well done, well done, because that's what leadership's all about standing up for what's right. But some members of the football community have slammed the AFL for getting involved. I think it was inappropriate for the AFL to enter into a political dispute. Brent, the son of Hawthorne Hall of Famer Russell Green, wants to be able to marry his male partner. You can't sort of sit on the fence when it comes to this. Um, we are trying to get equality and love for everyone and staying silent is not enough. His sister Angie concedes their father is a reformed homophobe who now wants his son to have the same rights as everyone else. He grew up, you know, discriminating against people and now he is proactively saying that we are all the same, we are all people. The AFL says it always planned to remove the YES logo after yesterday's photo opportunity, but it's sent a football like this one here to every club in support of marriage equality. I don't buy into the conversation around uh, just because it is the AFL they're not allowed to have a, an opinion on the issue. Um, I think we represent a huge portion of, of the Australian public. Live now to Emily Angwin at AFL House. And Emily, has the AFL increased security there? Mitch, the AFL released a statement a short time ago saying that it is now a police matter. They've responded and said that it, the call was a hoax and that they've thanked officers for their support. The AFL is now hoping that the attention can return to the finals this weekend. Mitch? Thanks, Em.